Ariel Helwani post-fight at UFC 125 alongside Jacob Volkman, who defeated Antonio McKee tonight via decision. And uh, Jacob, congratulations on the win. Uh, Antonio talked a lot going into this fight. Did that motivate you at all? Not really, because I didn't, I didn't really read any of the stuff he was saying. I never uh, listened to what he was saying. People kept on trying to get me to watch what he was saying. and I didn't, I didn't really care about that stuff. So I, I was just motivated because I wanted to be the guy that hasn't lost in seven years. So that was pretty good. Yeah, you know, it's tough when you look at a guy who hasn't lost in that long. It's hard to watch his tape and really find a lot of holes. I mean, no one has been able to figure him out in so long. What were you looking at when you were watching his tape and, and thinking that you could exploit those holes in his game? Well, his biggest thing is he backs up quite a bit. I had a hard time staying on him because um, he was looking for me to come after him kind of hard so he could lower his level and shoot his power double that he's got. So I had to, I had to move to, to the side quite a bit and uh, pretty much stalk him without giving up a takedown, which kind of hindered my, my uh, punching because I didn't really get to throw, throw many punches either. Interesting that is second round, clearly I thought you won. Third round, clearly he won. First round was the one that I didn't know whether or not the judges would score it in your favor or his favor. Two of the judges scored it for you, um, one scored it for him. Did you think you won that round? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I was positive that I won the first two rounds because I took him down right at the end of the, the what was first round. Mm -hmm. So I, I had pretty, pretty good confidence I was going to win. He's a guy who, you know, it seemed as though he was getting frustrated, especially in the third round. It looked like he was saying to you that you weren't engaging him enough. Um, <laughs> did that bug you? Yeah, that bugged Because that's something that people have said about him as well. Because he was backing up so much. I had a hard time. I didn't want to rush at him. That was that would be dumb because he was going to shoot his double leg and take me down. Then I'd have to deal with getting off the mat, and then you, you burn so much energy getting off the mat. And then he's, he's pretty good with his elbows. So why would I run at him and make a stupid mistake like that? Ever since you dropped down to 155, you look like a different fighter. Things have changed for you. Why? I'm not a different fighter. I just learned from my first two losses against two really good guys, uh, Campman and Thiago. I learned quite a bit of stuff. And the intensity is, is a lot more than you'd, you'd expect. I, I, had, I was doing one or two workouts a day. I had to move it up to two to three after I realized that the UFC is, is legit. So overall, though, you happy with your performance tonight? Not really. I need, to, I need to work on my hands. I need to work on uh, my uh, rear naked choke. That's my goal for my next fight. That was close. What do you think you did wrong there? I didn't. I was kind of high, first of all, and then uh, I couldn't get under his chin. So they were showing me a few things, the coaches were, of what I could do to get under his chin. All right, so now you got a big win over a veteran. Who do you want next? It doesn't matter. Uh, Guida. I don't know. I'd Actually, Obama. Like wow, you're calling out a Barack Obama right now. That's pretty big. That's ballsy. He's not too bright. He made a lot of, lot of like the making home affordable plan and then his uh, health care plan. Someone's got to knock some sense into that idiot. Wow, this interview just took a whole turn into the political world. Are you a Sarah Palin, Palin fan? Please say no. No. Okay. No, I just don't like what Barack was doing. Because I'm, I'm a chiropractor, mm -hmm. so I know the health care situation is, is not good, but he's making it worse. This is the most I've ever seen you fired up. Yeah, it's irritating. Because I'm, I'm starting my own business, and it's, it's not real easy when, you get, when you're actually given insurance companies the, the power to, to decline you and, and uh, not pay you. What kind of business? A uh, chiropractor uh, practice? My own chiropractic clinic yeah, wow. in White Bear Lake. I had to throw that in there, right? Yeah, very nice. All right, well, congratulations. Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year, and uh, we look forward to what's next. Thanks.